This is the brand new 2022 Giant Anthem, their carbon fibre 29 inch 100mm XC race machine and it marks a significant departure from their usual full suspension concept. I've quite literally picked it up from our workshop this morning so I haven't taken it to the trails just yet. Hopefully I get a ride later today but Max who is behind the camera will be working hard to get this video to you as soon as the embargo lifts which at the time of filming it's tomorrow afternoon, so we'd better crack on with the show. Before I go too deep into the details of this new bike, don't forget to press like and subscribe so you can keep up to date with all the latest cycling tech. Giant's Maestro suspension linkage has been a mainstay of virtually every full suspension bike they've built for the last decade or so. A rear triangle is held between two co-rotating links, giving a floating virtual pivot point. It's a system that has done them well, with their bikes receiving plenty of praise over the years, with a very smooth, comfortable feeling rear ends. As you've probably gathered by now, the new Anthem does away with Maestro and instead picks up a linkage-driven single pivot layout, with flex built into the rear triangle. Giant calls this design Flex Point Pro. It's similar to designs found on many contemporary XC race bikes, such as the Specialized Epic and Cannondale Scalpel, as well as bikes lower down in Giant's range, including the Stance. Let me know what you think about flexible stays on mountain bikes in the comments. So how does the new suspension work? The new Anthem's design sits around a main pivot sat behind the chainring. Flex is engineered into the junction between the carbon chain and seat stays. These then drive a composite rocker, pushing down on a vertically mounted shock. By dropping the lower dog link and a pair of pivots, Giant claims that the FlexPoint Pro suspension linkage saves 250 grams. Weight obviously isn't everything though, when you're going up the hill as fast as possible. An XC bike can't be a soggy noodle to pedal either. So Giant have rebuilt the entire area around the bottom bracket, adding, they say, 20% stiffness to the PF92 power core bottom bracket area. Furthermore, Giant claim there's 7% more torsional stiffness along the frame, helping prevent it twist under pedaling. Other than altering the suspension linkage, Giant has brought the Anthem up to date with a shape that's pretty modern by XC standards. The seat tube has been steepened to 75.5 degrees, not radical, but on a bike with 100mm of travel at the back and likely to be run fairly stiff, it should feel nice and steep. Up front angles have gone the other way, with a head angle that's been slackened to 67.5 degrees. This has been paired with 110mm forks, giving a little extra travel for when tracks get that little bit more technical. A nice side benefit of shifting away from Maestro is that Giant has also been able to shorten the rear end, getting the chain stays down to 435mm. Why is this beneficial? Well, it means that the bike should feel a touch livelier in the corners, something I'll be able to report on once I get some proper time riding the bike. Other key figures for a size large include a 465mm seat tube, which holds a 150mm dropper on the large. It's 125mm on a medium and small, and 150 again on the extra large. There's a stack of 603mm and a wheelbase of 1183mm, so overall very much up to date. Before a quick look at the specs of the new bikes, finishing details include an MRP chain guide to keep the drivetrain secure, as well as a new 35mm carbon bar plugged into a 70mm stem. Globally, there are going to be four different models of the Giant Anthem. However, in the UK, we're only getting two of those. That's the Advanced Pro 29.1 at £6,999 and the Anthem Advanced Pro 29.2 coming in at £4,999. I'm lucky enough to have the Advanced Pro 29.1 model in for testing. And as you can see, it's fairly posh. For reference, this size large comes in at 11.45 kilos. The main component of note is the Fox live valve suspension. This uses sensors and little motors on the frame, fork and shock to automatically open and close the suspension dampers to make sure it's as efficient as possible. Want to know more about Fox's electronic suspension system? Click the link in the description below this video. So this version of the bike gets a Fox 34 Performance Elite fork, while the cheaper one in the UK gets a Performance version. Both of them come with 110mm travel. At the back, this one gets a Performance Elite level live valve shock, while the non-electronically controlled bike gets a Performance Elite float DPS shock. 
Shimano are chosen by Giant for the drivetrain and brakes. I've got XT here, while for £2,000 less you get SLX. However, both bikes get giant carbon wheels. The XCR1 wheels I have here have a 30mm internal width, while the cheaper bikes XCR2 hoops have a 25mm internal width. They're all shod in Maxxis Recon Race 29 by 2.4 rubber. Finally, finishing kit all comes from Giant's own stable. As noted, globally there are two other models. At the top of the range is the Zera model, and this comes with SRAM's Access XX1 drivetrain and a pair of Shimano XTR brakes. It also has Fox's factory level suspension, so that's the stuff with Kashima. The 3 model comes in cheaper than the 2, but I'm afraid I don't have specs for that. It's not available in the UK either. So that's the new Giant Anthem. Have you ridden previous models? And what do you think about the move away from the Maestro suspension system? Let us know in the comments. I'm going to go and give it a ride. So in the meantime, drop any comments down below and don't forget to like the video and click the subscribe button so you get notifications of new videos as soon as they drop.